Alright, so let's load game. You don't stand there. Hello. There's only one more place. The deadly poison zone. Gotta remember how to work controls this morning, Jesus. I think this is a right area. Um Back to the jungle, okay. Cool, cool. <laughs> How's everybody doing this morning? Jerk. Something I'm supposed to go to that area there. So it's taking lower body parts. I think they mean they died. Dinosaurs ate his wing. Switch weapons. Hey, do Neo. Shooting deck.
too. Three. I think that's the area I'm supposed to go in, right? No. Wait, yes. Straight. Oh, shit! Yeah, she'll be uh, yelling in my ear here shortly. Poison gas area. Oh, automatic, cool. Morning. Morning. How you doing? Eh. <laughs> it's gonna be one of them days. Uh huh. Magazine. Uh, yeah. Charge. Need to save up to buy her. Yeah, she really needs that machine gun. Ooh, gold card. Yeah. Ooh -hoo. It uh it I think it makes the combo thing last even longer. Or it doubles the points you get or something, I don't remember. It'll have a description if you click on it. Yeah. I know there's a platinum card too, supposedly. Oh, it doubles your points. Nice. I don't remember if there's actually a platinum card. Uh, I thought there was a retro achievement for platinum. Let's find out. I mean, there possibly is. I don't remember. Third energy data, no damage. Maybe not. Oh, wait. All files. Okay, so... That didn't make sense. Kill the two Triceratops in the back of your car without losing life. I think they mean taking damage. Yeah. So. Collect oh. All. You, um. They get the platinum card? Yeah. All there is a platinum card. It says here, um. Let's see. The purpose is to give unlimited ammo and magazines. Oh. 
to get the card, you have to beat the game once and get all 11 dino files in doing so. 11? All 11. Right. So, I don't know how many you have, but if you have, let's see. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, oh, uh, I need one more. There's one more. Yep. And I know which one you're missing. Where is it? Is it coming up soon? Yeah. May want to turn Lee down a little bit. Are you are you saying Lee's too loud for you? I'm not even talking loud. I think I have yours all the way up on Discord. Hold on. Oh. Okay. Say something now. Something now. <laughs> am I am I acceptable now, Neo? Are you saying that because she's a woman? Do you hate women that much that you want me to turn them down? That's kind of sexist, dude. Seriously. <laughs> I'm just playing with you. <laughs> you sitting there like, what the fuck? <laughs> I'm not really that bad. <laughs> oh, he's saying yes, he's sexist. Oh, damn. <gasps> Neo, I'm so shocked. Just shooting dinosaurs, don't mind me. Oh god! <laughs> now you're saying the sound of women's voices make your ear bleed? Wow, dude. Oh! Well, you're not going to give him any rest over that, are you? <laughs> <laughs> Let's see. It, it's somewhere around here. I don't, I'm not sure if it's particularly in this room, but I know that it's it's on the way where you're going. Where the hell did he come from? Whoa! That was a huge dick he's like that. He's like that sneaky horse in the race who comes in from behind to steal the victory. Right. At least you won't bleed anymore. Stop. Yeah, this is like where you really need to have a machine gun. Jesus, what you... The camera angles, dude. All I did was try to aim and it went back to a different camera angle. You need to calm the fuck down. <laughs> Ask me in here? Nope. I think it's, uh... If it's not, like, out there, it's in that room down the stairs. Okay. Yeah, I don't think it's over here. Oh, shit. No, it's... Sometimes they're hidden, though. Yeah. That one... I think that one's laying out in the open. The one that you need. I think okay. it might be in that room. Going down? Mm -hmm. 
You are getting close to the end of the game, just so you know. <laughs> nice. You're in, you're in the last leg, finally. There's one more um, part where you control Dylan. I'm assuming that's the third energy disc. Yep. Yep. New Dinophile. Nice. Oh! Gigantosaurus. Quit saying meters, I'm American. <laughs> yeah, I was watching uh, Lifted Senses. Yeah, this, this one's talking about a dinosaur that's big enough to actually hunt T Rexes, by the way. It's just a rumor, right? They think it's just a rumor. Uh, okay. But this thing is even more tenacious than that T-Rex. Anything else in here? Or was that it? I don't think... I'm not sure. Alright, I think you have to, like, I think now it's time you go back out. Time to leave. Alright. Music stopped. That means it's about to go down. Oh, motherfucker. Bigger than the T Rex, this thing is. Well, you guys duke it out, I'm gonna bring you back in here. <laughs> Dino battle. Well, oh, not so much anymore. No. T Rex went bye bye. He couldn't see straight though. He only had one eye. <sighs> Dylan, you scared me. I finally found the third energy data disc. Great. Now we can get out of here. I brought the patrol ship around behind the building. Come on, let's go. What? It's our Cyclops friend again. It can't be. The T-Rex is already... Attack on missile launcher confirmed. Activating emergency interception. Missile will launch in 10 minutes. Evacuate immediately. The computer is malfunctioned. This is not good. Where's the control panel for the missile? It's inside the warhead. I'll go in and shut off the controller. You go ahead and evacuate. Okay. You be careful. Remember that uh, puzzle with the stun gun? Yep. Oh, well, no. You're about to... Yeah. Oh, no. Yeah, and this one's even worse. There's bigger ugly. Oh, he's flammable.
Yeah, use you have to use the flammable gas to chase mm -hmm. it away. Um, how do I do that? The batons. Yeah. Oh. First, you have to switch back to your handgun. What you have equipped isn't really going to do much against that thing anyway. Right. So. Press the switch and then use your stun gun. Okay. <laughs> now go to the next one that you can go to. Ow! Let's try to make a turn here. I go back to the other one. Because you're going to have to chase it away before the walkways will come back up. Is there one over here? No, you got to just keep going back and forth between the two. Maybe. <laughs> Get up. Get up. Have that one reset already so you can use it. T-Rex 2.0 Attention. Well now you can get back, now you can get up to the warhead to do the next part. Ooh, fun. The next part's not fun. <laughs> <laughs> it's nothing to joke about, damn it. <laughs> this is one of those games that I'm just like, why the hell did I play this one so much? I liked it, but it's just parts of it were just so... Why did I play this so many times? I mean, this one at least, they're really close together, so... When you use the stun gun, if you're standing in the right place, you can get hit several of them at once. Hey look, it's like me going after the bots. I should have hit both. Come on. Alright. Wasn't too bad. No. You at least got it on your first try. Now, if I was under the influence of something. <laughs> Part of me, like, almost can't wait to see Frank try to do this set. Oh, he has to do one or uh, both of them, or just this one? Uh, hey, nobody's redeemed these yet. Huh. So right now he's asked him if he was planning to do Resident Evil 3 since he's doing 2. Mm -hmm. And I said nobody's requested it yet, so no. He won't until someone redeems it. Of course, he only does it if somebody badges it first, so... Well, he's got a, rede he's got a channel point thing to redeem. 
I'll, to pick what he goes after next. I thought it was like you can only do that if you badged it yourself. I don't know. See, I want to do it because I know he usually picks a game also for the person badge. Like, no. He'll probably just pick something fucked up. Like, but he knows I don't do that. So. Right, so just go back down? Yeah. Yeah, now you can go back. For now, he's knocked out. You knocked him out. Not anymore. Well, the good part is this is a slow movie and you don't have to really worry about it too much. I think I can get that one gun now. I think. You're gonna want it if you can get it. That or no, my luck, I'd be like five points short. As <laughs> now that this room, now that this whole thing is on fire, guess what you're gonna have to deal with? Mini dinos? Oh, they're not mini. I don't think I can get... Uh, it's this one, right? Yeah. Cartridge. <laughs> don't even have enough for the cheap one. Nope. Oh, this is going to be fun. Save! But equip that now. <laughs> You're going to want to equip that in the chain mine. Chain mine? Okay. Try, uh, you know what? Since it's me we're talking about. Save. Yeah, save. No, I was going to refill <laughs> the chain mine. <laughs> oh, yeah. Since it's. Since it's me yeah. we're talking about. I totally forgot you just saved too. <laughs> Let's get the fuck out of here. The voice acting is good. Who's ours or theirs? <laughs> Of course it blew me back. That was a nice stutter step. There you go. Damn it. Oh, he blew a chance for you to get a no damage bonus.
Are you okay, Regina? Get on, quick. Oh, give me a break, man! We're dead! <sighs> We have to get as far away from this place as possible. Let's head down the river. Riverside, front of Watergate. Mm-hmm. Great, the Watergate's closed. We can't go any further. Wait, there's a valve. Maybe we can open the gate manually. Whoa. Let the men handle this. Let's go, bro. Fine. You boys, play nice now. Ooh. Okay, up there. Right. Well, here goes. Sneaky, sneaky. Where would you so bitch? I rule! I did it! Dylan, let's go back! Watch out! Yeah, but it'll save you. David! He yep. So much for David. Did you say? Home. I... I don't understand. It said one of the only words she knows. You want me to come with you? Yeah, Blockhead, I think that's what she wants. Pack the girl from dinosaurs and get across the jungle. Yeah, this, uh... this escort mission is... This is one of the most ridiculous escort missions ever, considering she knows how to survive dinosaurs. Right. She's she's done this her whole life, and yet I still gotta play escort. Pretty much her whole life. Mm hmm Still, there's actually where where you're heading. There's a file that explains exactly who she is. You remember at the end of when you stopped yesterday, he had just, um, she dropped a necklace and he said this, that the necklace had belonged to his sister. Yeah. Yeah, there's a reason why she has his sister's necklace. Ah. 
I don't see how she got hit, even though I fired early enough, but whatever. She can't be hurt by your weapon, so if you keep her in a cloud of your weapon, like, they'll bounce off of it. She needs to be healed. She's like, yeah, she's limping. As I said, like, uh, recovery. How can I heal her? Um, I don't know if it'll give you that. I don't know if it'll give you the opportunity. <laughs> it won't. You can't heal her. You can just keep her from taking any more damage. Um, how am I supposed to get up? Oh. The ladder. Hurry up, though. Yeah. Don't know how I did that, but okay. She's able to get up there. She's pretty much safe now. I think your escort mission yeah. is over. You just gotta get up there where she is now. So she can take off running at any second. Mm -hmm. Oh, you got Dylan a stronger gun. You should try shooting the raptors with it. It's kind of satisfying watching them get knocked out of the air. <laughs> I remember I used to, like, I ran around here on purpose, shooting raptors with that thing just to string together big combos. Growl at me, motherfucker. Oh, you have to go through here and turn off the backup lock. Okay, so she got through easily, but... The locks weren't on when she went through. You gotta look for all the little glowy terminals. There's one right next to you. Swear to God, if it's like one of those... You gotta press it in a certain order, or you piss. No, I don't think you have to do it in a certain order. You just did the yellow one, now there's a green one right there. And then you gotta go up for the next two. There's a ladder. And the red one is up there. See what I mean about how satisfying killing those things with that thing is? It's just been revoked. <laughs> like... Yeah, not today. I'm not going to be your sandwich right now. Ow! Pushy little bastard. Um, turn around? Oh, thank you. Are you using the switch target button? I was pressing it, but... <laughs> yeah, that one's the blue terminal up there. Rawr yourself. Luckily, Kappa is watching this. <laughs> His son would be devastated. You're killing dinosaurs! Oh, 
Oh, that one was just waiting for you. Mm-hmm. I think I killed them all. Now the touch panel should turn the bars off. So that's how you turn bar off. <laughs> oh. <laughs> you know, if I may borrow a phrase from the 80s, that is so funny I forgot to laugh. Ba -da -ba -ba -da -ba -ba. <laughs> Superintendent Swill. Mm -hmm. Superintendent Chalmers? Wait until you see who the superintendent is. <sighs> I'm assuming it's Kirk. <laughs> he actually yeah. survived the first. Kirk did survive the first. According to canon. I just gave away one of the endings that you didn't get yet. One of the endings is rescuing Kirk. Of course, of course. Well, actually, two of the endings involve rescuing Kirk. For the first one? Mm-hmm. There's one ending where it's just you and your team that gets away, which is the one you got. Right. There's another ending where everybody gets away, your whole team and Kirk gets away. And then there's another ending where you rescue, where you actually manage to get Kirk, but it's only you and Rick that get away with Kirk. Oh, Gail. And one or two of those endings might or might not take place in a helicopter instead of that hovercraft. Okay, so she got through all this easily, but needed to be escorted? Through the jungle? Technically, she didn't need to be escorted. They just decided to throw an escort mission in here first. Giggles. Okay, okay wait. This is file 11. This is about something called the Noah's Ark plan. Okay. It all began in Bolzinia, a small republic in the southern sea. The first overdrive was the beginning of everything. During transportation, something went wrong and it resulted in a crack in the space-time, which skewed history after the Cretaceous era. To investigate the skewed biological history after the Cretaceous, an extensive experiment was conducted on a global scale. The result? Devastating. The space-time skew would take its effect on all living organisms. The Earth's history would change dramatically, and the change would wipe the human race from ever existing. That was the conclusion of the experiment. The plan was to transport the living organisms of the Cretaceous through the time gate to a world with similar environments far into the future. After the crisis had passed, the organisms would then be returned to their original time. We called this the Noah's Ark plan. This was the only plan that would leave any chance for the existence of the human race. We hope that this plan is successful and we shall declare execution of this plan. So there's twist number one. You didn't get transported into the past. You got transported really far into the future. Dun dun dun. Okay, what do we got here? Health pack? Yeah, we'll take... Shop. Weapon. Not yet. Recovery. I'm good on. Magazine. I mean, Sorry. technically, you don't need his rocket launcher. It just makes it easier. For what's about to come up. So, even if you can't afford the rocket launcher, you might want to buy a magazine for the anti-tank. Because you can afford one now. <laughs> Yeah, I can get the 50 or 100. I'd go ahead and just get the 100. Because you are, like, literally endgame right now. Uh. No, that 
Makes me wonder. Item recovery. I got enough recovery, right? Six large, um, one medium. Yeah. I mean, if you want to go ahead and just buy mediums to max yourself out. I was thinking about buying a small just to heal myself real quick. Yeah. Get me full health, and then buy medium just in case. Mm hmm. Press that item every. Alright. What are you, large? Nah, don't need that. Large laboratory hall. Lieutenant Morton. What? A hologram? How does he know my name? Oh. There's not much time left, so I'll explain it short and simple. On, on August 10th, 2055, our Noah's Ark plan became successful. Year 2055? What's he talking about? To save the dinosaurs, we transferred the dinosaurs to this time, three million years ahead of our time. What? Three million years? Then you're from... But there was another accident when we were about to go back. The gate disappeared and we were stranded in this time. Then this is the future. There was no way for us to survive in this world, where dinosaurs now rule. <sighs> we, the remaining survivors, hurried to recover the gate. But it's too late now. My wife... Julia was killed by the dinosaurs, and my loving child, she was hurt. Badly. Paula. Paula. now is to protect my group. I have kept Paula and the other children safe by putting them inside life support chambers. Please, take the children back to your time. Now, I should introduce myself. My former Special Forces TRAD member, Colonel Dylan Morton. What? You're myself in the future? Use it 
only once. Please, say hello to Regina for me. I'm counting on you, Lieutenant. So while that's sinking in, I'm going to take a small break, get some more coffee. I'll be back in a few. Till then, enjoy these ads. And if you didn't know that tune, wow. Did somebody fart? Wow. Okay. GG, GG, you uh... Oh my god, you see <laughs> Oh god, that was so freaking close. Not cool. Not cool. Damn it. Saved right at the end. I think. Hell yeah, it was. Oh, shit. <laughs> I did him damage this. Badged. Do you... Why is it spinning? Is it supposed to be representing that it's floating? He's from the 80s. There you go. He thought it was cardboard. Oh, God. What the? You crazy son of a bitch. Dingleberry. Oh, 
all these damn random kills. It's like awesome. I didn't even hit her. They're just hitting me right, so I'll bounce back. <laughs> I wish we paid a sedative so I could give them. Like, girl, you don't even understand. Mm hmm. I forget all that. What matters is that I should be back with home within the next few days. When I get back, I'll give you a call. We gotta get out, uh, go out and get smashed. Oh, hell yeah. I could use a break. Talk to you soon, Ryan. I really need a grenade right now. Holy crap, are you seeing this? Got him, got him. Bitch, bitch, dirty bitch. Dude, you did reading is hard. Definitely for a Sunday. That's why I never read the Sunday paper. I just look at all the pretty, pretty pictures. What the hell is Sam doing? And I'm back. I'm back, baby. Welcome back. Uh, and you're back, too. Hey. Oh, I've been here. <laughs> so he talked to his younger self as a hologram. Mm-hmm. So this poor guy is sitting here finding out that not only did they really get flung into the future by... Like several million years, but this chick who's been like has been looking at him weird is actually his future daughter. In five minutes. What? <laughs> you turned it on. <laughs> well, that's the last one of the future kids. <laughs> Kids, don't forget your orders, soldier. Protect the future kids. What am I supposed to do? <laughs> you are supposed to be look, running around this platform, activating computer terminals to um, redirect the missile to shoot that thing. But you weren't supposed to die there. You were supposed to make it across that bridge. Thanks for the tip. Should have told me sooner. <laughs> the self 
Well, I didn't think that was something I'd have to tell you. Detonation in five minutes. I mean, what? I, I had pretty solid gameplay, but <laughs> <laughs> that was totally uncalled for. Totally uncalled for. Yes, and so was that. We are going for the puns. Please, please stop with the punishment. Can't really make a pun out of Neo's name. <laughs> v -v very, very hard. <laughs> that was hardly a joke. <laughs> oh. Good night, I need a freaking facepalm emote. Don't die. Terminal right here, right? Yeah. Yeah, oh. There's one at the very end, too. Damage confirmed at oversized transport area. Immediate shutdown. Of course, immediate shutdown. You know, you got a gun. Communication line is now connected. Oh, you need to find the other terminal. I'm not hitting the button! Holy uh, shit, that thing's about to kill you again. Would you just get off my nuts? Yeah, God damn! But you... it, wants a, it wants a tasty little Dylan snack. Eh, I'm gonna die here. It, he's like not even getting up anymore. Oh. Okay, now you can go to the big terminal. I don't know if I can. <laughs> Dude's you, riding you'll my... make it. You can make it. He's riding me harder than Neo usually does. Well, throw some ones at it. Maybe it'll leave you alone. Make it holla for a dollar. A uh, goddamn! <laughs> oh my god! I can't Arn move. Had the most ridiculous conversation last night. You gotta hear this. <laughs> Woo! Sonic Gale. So, we're sitting there goofing around. Like, you attack. know, being funny. And... I honestly can't remember how it started, but, um... Oh yeah, we were talking about South Park. And I was talking about Kanye West's reaction to the Gay Fish episode. And I said, I said something like, what they really need to do is just take Kanye and all the Kardashians and just feed them to the Loch Ness Monster. And he just looked at me, he's like, that's oddly specific. And I, and what I said was, well, the reason why they want to feed him to the, you should feed him to the Loch Ness Monster is so that the Loch Ness Monster will get indigestion and stop asking everybody for tree fitty. God damn it. <laughs> this is being really stupid ridiculous. I, I remember that episode like... Why was he so pissed about it? I don't get it. But whatever. Then turn around and goes on to Cleveland show as a character. Okay, I got three minutes. Where am I supposed to go? 
This way? I think so, yeah. You're supposed to... Actually, even what? funnier was when he told Kim that she should stop acting. Hey, well done. I guess I finished the game. Mm-hmm. Hell yeah. That's the, yeah, the room with the gate. It's okay. don't have much time left. Let's use this gate and get out of here. Whoa! Who's it gonna crush? Paula! Okay then. <laughs> Told you this game did everybody dirty. I'm doing, having a blood bath, shit. Well, I mean, he did at least give her the idea to come back and get him, and, and to come back and get him, you know, after she was able to build a better gate. So, I'm assuming that's what. Oh, like, okay. <laughs> <laughs> I'm honestly not sure what, like, what canon on this is. Because, you know, you just saw Dylan mm -hmm. and Paula died. But it was also reversing at the same time. Mm hmm. So I guess it was supposed to be like, oh, she did go back and do this. I think. <laughs> So basically, um, like one of the documents that you were supposed to find, I don't think you found it, talked about um, how the, the children were put in life support chambers, but the machines themselves were actually meant for dinosaurs. 
So, being in them for so long caused them to lose their ability to talk. No, it says I collected all the files. Then you might have, you just didn't read that one. <laughs> Probably. Because you didn't read them all. Presented by Capcom. Mm -hmm. Well, he obviously lived. Well, it's just one of the ending pictures you can get. There's another one of Regina and a third one of Paula. Hey, I gotta be rank. You know. And you got all the dino files, so you got the platinum card, too. <laughs> Which means that if you if you do a new game plus, you'll be able any um oh the dino coliseum is kind of fun. Um right. you have extinct points that you can use to buy to buy those characters. I can buy all three. Uh-huh. Rick, Gale, and a tank. <clears throat> oh, no, I gotta buy all those. And you can also buy different dinosaurs to play in the Dino Coliseum as, too. Huh, nice. Mm -hmm. Um, so, like, when you, if you decide to do the new game plus, mm -hmm. you'll have, um, any time, and whatever dino points you get, you don't have to worry about buying cartridges and recharging your weapon anymore. Whatever you buy will have infinite ammo in it. Nice. So literally all your points will only end up going towards um, buying your weapons, buying your tools, and buying recovery kits. Alright, so... Basically, now I got 31 of 48 achievements... Most of them, even though they worded it badly, it's like pretty much damageless stuff. Mm hmm. Are go you gonna play this? Are you gonna play this one again to go for the badge, or are you gonna go back to another one and go for the badge on another one? Um, I'll probably play through it a little bit later. Right now, because I got the first Dino Crisis. I still need to go through the second part. I was working through that um, offline. Mm -hmm. Well, you remember, you know, that save where you pick between Rick and Gail's ideas at the very, that final choice. Right. Um, you can use that one save to get all three endings. Right. But I got to go through either way, no matter what, because I still got to pick Gail. Go oh yeah, you have to do the achievement for following Gail's ideas the whole way through, right, don't you? Right. Oh, Gail's idea. Gail is just brute force. Go. Okay, this one says go with Gail's idea after failing your ex your escape plan in the experiment simulation. But it says choice two, Rick. Wait a second. Uh, right. The, the, That's weird. But then there's uh, oh, so I'm supposed to pick Rick's choice. Bill trying to undo the latches, then go ahead and do Gail's idea. Oh, uh, that's what it's saying. Okay. 
Well, yeah, because if you fail the if you fail doing the trap door, uh huh, then you have to do Gail's idea anyway. You just have less time to do it. Right. Then, or if I can go with Gail's idea, it's kill eight Velociraptors on your way out. <laughs> Yeah, kill all the dinosaurs on your way out of that hall, and you have like 10 minutes to do it. So you just need to make sure that you have enough like shotgun bullets and poison darts to do it. Mm -mm -mm. Did you see any of that video I sent you? No, I haven't watched it yet. I was too busy with um, Mario and Laundry. I, 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 the link I sent you starts at part where he, he specifically talks about Dino Crisis 3. <sighs> Just everything I've seen about that game is like so much cringe. I'll definitely watch it later. Dude, it's literally dinosaurs in space. And they're not just your regular dinosaurs either. Oh, they're like weird, so, weird alien mutant dinosaurs. So it's like, you know. Leprechaun in space, Jason in space, anything in space Pretty is much. bad. Pretty much. Why do they think something in space is so scary? Because it's space. If you get launched down into space, you're done for. I will evolve and grow space skills. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. I know, I don't have it loaded yet, but I'll probably start Resident Evil 3 Remake Monday, if not. Oh, I've seen Resident Evil 3 Remake a lot. <laughs> Good luck with that. Yeah. Have you, have you played the original Resident Evil 3? I played it, but kept getting pissed off and quitting. Oh, <laughs> So. You should play the original first. It's superior. Everything's superior to Resident Evil 3 Remake. Dude, Barbie horse... Barbie's horse farm game is superior to Resident Evil 3 Remake. Just but, saying. As I said, it was a gift given to me, so, you know. Yeah, I know. Not gonna complain, I guess. I need... I should do, um... Because October starts next week, also. Is it? Yep, next Friday's the first. Ah, oh. That means... No, I don't want it to be October. My, it's your birthday month. I know, that's why I don't want it to be <laughs> October. <laughs> I don't want to get older, damn it. Maybe I'll be 29 again. I haven't done that for a few years. <laughs> well, I mean, could pass it off, yeah. I've been 18 for the last 20. <laughs> we, we were joking with Sam the other night because he's, um, his birthday is tomorrow, I think. It's yeah, he's. I think his birthday. No, wait. Yeah, he said his birthday was Friday. Twenty fourth. So yeah, it's, mm -hmm, tomorrow. So he was joking about he's twenty one. That he's finally twenty one. I'm like, you know, when you do that, Sam. I was twenty nine for like so many years. <laughs> this is a uh, Sam. Sam. Mm hmm. Because he's been streaming a couple of times in the last few days. I caught one of his nights. Actually, I raided him during the night stream. That's what it was. Yeah, that's... I was in the raid. Because <laughs> remember, I showed up. Mm -hmm. I'm like, what are you doing still up? Yeah, that was uh, up and down. Even last night, I was up to like one thirty again. Same here. I was up last night. I couldn't sleep. Yeah, I saw your comment in Pulse's chat about you better go to bed because you have to boss me around in the morning. Oh, you saw that? Yes, I did. 
<laughs> I just shook my head like, God damn it. I just said it was fun bossing you. <laughs> mm-hmm. And, and, hi, Pulse. I know you're not in here. <laughs> uh, no, it was... It, it, it got... Uh, I, don't, I was just... I was a little weirded out by Frank's chat last night. It was getting really rowdy. Was it because Ryan was in there? No. It was just really just rowdy. And I, I know that... I know they're all friends and they, they express their affection for each other by shit-talking the crap out of each other. <laughs> but sometimes that just puts me in a negative headspace and I can't... I, I, I right. have to leave. The way how uh, Frank and Ryan were going at it last night, I almost just wanted to come in and be like, you two just need to fuck and get it over with. <laughs> oh my god. I wonder what Lauren would have said about that. She probably would have agreed. Probably. I mean, it was it was something else last night. Cause yeah, I was. I said I was hanging with Guten last night. You know, modding for his channel. Then he raided a uh, Frank. And I just sat there, like, not even really paying attention. I would pop in, like, every once in a while, I'll see how Resident Evil 2 was going, but I was mainly watching TV and finishing Mario All-Stars. Mm hmm And I just, like, kept hearing him going on and on. I was like, oh, my God. Sometimes I wonder how Gaul feels about that. <laughs> I miss Gaul. I don't know. One time I made the comment to them that, you know, they call each other boobs so much they should try to stuff themselves into a bra. You know what? Not a bad idea. <laughs> we we should all get together, chip in, and buy them all bras. Oh my gosh. Chat, how's that sound? I'll, I'll, oh I'll start a GoFundMe. That's so bad. We'd need sizes, though, because, you know, you don't want to waste lingerie. Can't we just go to Goodwill? <laughs> they ain't getting nothing okay, fancy. So you're the, okay, so you're the cheap date. Okay. Exactly. Wait till Dow Cow pops in. <laughs> I'm wait, waiting. I'm waiting to see. I, I know she's in here. Rude. <laughs> Still nothing? Really? Okay. You know better. If I were her, I'd wait until you said something really offensive and then smack you in the face with it. Yeah. Okay. Instead of sitting on this crane for a while. Yeah. Are you going to, um, what are you going to play next? Like, to fill out the rest of your stream today? I'm thinking about maybe just putting on Mario 2. Oh, Mario 2 is always fun. 
I mean, let's see. Okay. So, I'll switch over to this webcam. Okay, so all I got left for the badge All-Star is beat Mario, all 20 stages of Mario, Luigi, then Toad. Then um, the final one will be complete Mario Brothers 2 without dying in one session. Oh. So. Only got four more left oh. on that, but they're going to be the longest ones. Yep, those are going to be the hardest ones to do. Mm -hmm. I mean, I already did Peach all level tw uh, 20 levels. Because she can float. So, I mean, I already started also. Um, some of Mario. I think I'm on World 3. So... Mm hmm Gonna hang out in Discord for a while, or...? Yeah, I don't mind. I'm not doing oh. anything. <laughs> <laughs> Wasn't sure if you were gonna go back to sleep. No, I've been sitting here enjoying my coffee. Ooh, coffee. When I... When I get the girls up, they, um... Chloe has to leave right away because her bus comes at like around quarter to eight. Mm -hmm. But Zoe's bus doesn't come until after eight o'clock, so she doesn't have to leave right away. Um So what I've what I've been doing the last couple of days is I've just been having Zoe make me some coffee and leave it on my desk. Nice. It's not like she's really having to go to a lot of trouble. Barka bought these um, cans of cold brew coffee. So all she's really having to do is put this coffee and some sugar and whatever else I put in it in our magic bullet for a few seconds and then just pour it into my coffee cup with ice. So it's, it's like less than a minute's worth of work. <laughs> yeah, I, I got a Keurig, so... Well, it takes, like, it is kind of quick. The only reason why it takes me so long is because I usually have to clean up a mess. Uh, well. Woo! Ooh, yeah. I really don't like how they change the music in this. <laughs> Which is your favorite Mario 3, I'm assuming? It's a mix... yeah, 3, I think. I love 2, but I think 3 is my favorite. See, I never hear anybody really say 2. It's usually between 3 and World. See, for me, it's between 2 and 3. But okay. I think I, I really just love Mario 3 a whole lot. Oh my god. So, Guten, he had to play Mario 3. Mm hmm. He honestly didn't know anything about the warp whistles. Or just really anything about anything about that game. I'm sort of like, oh my god. Well, I didn't either the first time I played it. I learned all that stuff. This wasn't the first time he played. This ain't my first time either playing this, but. I'm playing like it's my first time. But yeah, like... So... He, f he got to World 5, he left his computer on, that was uh, two days ago. Then... Last night? He ended up finishing it. But when he was on World 5... 
He kept dying on the airship. Really? He's, like, just kept going over and over, dying on the airship. And it was like, okay, so do you know what to do, what you need to do? Yes, I've played and beat this before. Okay. Kept going back to the airship. Kept doing the same thing over and over. You know the parts with the cannon? Yeah. He kept trying to jump on top of every single cannonball coming. Oh, for... Really? Yeah. Something like that. Dude, when was the last time you actually played this? God damn it! Again! See, that's why I like Peach, because I can float and hover over the spot. Or just keep floating. So anyways, ended up telling him about the war whistle, which he had two of them. He finally just ended up warping to World 8. Was oh, able... He, he had the whistles, he just didn't know what to do with them? No, he honestly thought it was like the cloud. Oh my... So we're like, okay, the Warp Whistles warps worlds, you know, I mean, that's why it's called, you know, Warp Whistle. Not, you know, level skip or anything like that. So he goes to World 8, beats, uh -huh. gets all the way right to Bowser's Castle. Yeah. And, you know, damn well, everybody knows. Uh, not to do that. Yeah. <laughs> but, everybody knows. You run. Just run. He's wastes probably about four or five lives. Game oh over. God. Oh no. And Just that the, the laser's in the doorway? Yep, pretty much. I think oh my. he even wasted a pee wing on it. What? Are you kidding? And I'm sitting there like, Okay, dude, I'm gonna walk you through this. Run. At some point, I'd be like, this is just too painful. I, I didn't even tell him about the one up in the corner by that point. By that oh, point, no. it was just like... That's so bad. He's not... I, I... Oh my god. <laughs> I remember the first time I streamed Super Mario 3. My friend from high school was watching. And he was just like, look at you playing all these hard levels and making them look super easy. And I'm like, this is easy. I wasn't, I was in World 3. That's not difficult. World 3 isn't that hard. It really isn't. No. It's annoying. I, I, but it's... Yeah, annoying. That's a good way of putting it. But yeah, I was still I was in just world three at that point. I hadn't done any I hadn't done anything really difficult yet. But he's the one who clipped me um beating it later that day. You know you could take a you could have taken a bottle across the water with you. There's a mushroom here. Was there a second bottle? No, you could have gone back in the doorway and gotten a bottle. Oh. Well, damn. Ooh, uh. Or mm. just the coins, I don't remember, but I know that there was a reason to take a bottle there. I think it's just the coins, because I thought the second mushroom was up ahead. It might be. But that was a good coin op, so that you could try for more extra lives. Yeah. I, I need to jump first. Learn how to jump. Oh god. 
It's like Dino Crisis all over again! I keep changing screens! <laughs> oh my god, that, that, that's, that's gonna end up being... That's like all anybody's gonna remember of me helping you play that game was I'm just like scolding you for changing camera angles all the time. I don't want Lee help me with that game. She's gonna scold me for ca changing cameras. Well, you can get <laughs> easily overwhelmed by mons by dinosaurs when you change camera angles too fast. Come on, come on. This way, this way. Uh. There you go. As yeah. you well saw. Yeah, this one. Oh yeah, the other mushroom. The, yeah, the mushroom is up here. Woohoo! Mario, you klutz. Mario. Sorry, I, I shouldn't be laughing so hard at that. <laughs> I mean... Um, Why? He has like Crisco feet all of a sudden. Um... I have a feeling I'm gonna die. <laughs> I can just feel it. I did it! I did it! <laughs> I'm a pro. I'm a pro gamer. Ow. Ow. By that point, I should have just fallen. Ah! I'm sorry. No more. Aha! Gonna stay here for a second and run! Sometimes they spawn the other way, and you just take it straight across. Try this again, but this time, don't die. Don't miss. That was gonna happen. See, this is why I hate Mario. <laughs> it's supposed to be like this big superhero in this game. And yet, it's probably like, if not the worst person to play with in this game. I 
Bell's whip in half. Oh, come on. Oh, shit. The best strategy I can give you for this is to just stay in one place and try to get them all okay. to come to one spot. Like that. Mm -hmm. See, World 5 is probably the best with the princess also, be just because all the long jumps in this area. Be able to do it, but I'm supposed to take this with you. Nope. Yeah, this ain't gonna work. <laughs> Oh my god. Mario. Tomorrow, depending, I might do uh, Resident Evil 1, actually. Hold off till next week to do... There was no way... Yeah, hold off till next week to do Resident Evil 3 Remake. Because I'm sure my PS4 is going to have a lot of updates. Just thinking out loud, not really certain. say I watched um watched Jill a, like a little over a week ago she was doing another run of Resident Evil 3 remake mm -hmm. only she was actually using the infinite rocket launcher like I've watched I've watched Poke Jabba play it he mm -hmm. refuses to use infinite weapons yeah, he but... refuses to use even really strong weapons he refuses to use help too, doesn't he? Pretty much. For fuck's sake! But, um, like, he makes it as hard on himself as possible. And I'm just sitting there, I'm watching Jill, and she's actually using the rocket launcher, and I'm just like, Wow, I've never actually seen one of you guys use this thing before. <laughs> and what really cracked me up was while I was watching, this, uh, she's like, one of those, uh, the, the pale heads, mm -hmm. they're really strong, comes sliding down the damn stairs like it's sledding. It was That's funny as hell. <laughs> I clipped that. It was too funny. Like, I just get to the stream and that's the first thing I see. So <laughs> before I even greeted everybody, I'm like, I'm clipping this. It was too funny not to. It's a great way to clip, uh, greet everybody. Hello, here's a clip. 
<laughs> it was just so funny. I don't know how many times I've done that and still got hit. Of course I'm really bad at the bonus chance. Come on, at least give me one. There! <laughs> See? Was that so hard? Hm. Oh my god. The sun's actually what? out. We haven't seen the sunlight in three days. I think it's... When do you want to do Cosmo again? Um, maybe Saturday night. I mean, I don't think I have anything going on Saturday, so. That might not be a bad idea, because Bar doesn't, he won't have to work the next day. He, okay. he, has, Sunday, he has Sundays off. So. Uh-oh. Bounce right off the cliff. Yeah, I mean... Well, Saturday night would probably be a good idea, because then he'll be, like... He'll... He'll be recovered from having to work all day. That was a lot tougher than what it really should have been. Yeah. I don't know if you've ever thought of doing it, but sometimes I get that, you know, the fish that comes up here? Yeah. I use the fish as the first thing I throw it. I throw there. I tried to, but I figured I, if I tried to, I'd probably get myself Bird. hit. Birdo. I rarely play level 5 at all. Like, I usually do the world 2 skip. Mm-hmm. But, I mean, since I have to do it, 
Hey, I got one up. See, I forget where all the warp zones are. I used mm. to know, and I've kind of forgotten. I know there's I'm... world two, f two to four, four to six, then world three to five, five to seven, because that's the one to world seven right up there. You gotta. Ow. Yeah, you gotta take this and fly back on one of the birds. The mushrooms, I forget where they're all at. I usually try to use a uh, thing called NES Maps. Uh huh. To find all the mushrooms, but. Fuck this. I'm gone. I know I gotta somehow blow up this wall. Yeah, one of the mushrooms is here. Yeah, it's like right in here. Mm -hmm. So you gotta get one of these bombs to blow up that wall. And then... It. Yeah, they're always gonna do that. Don't do that. <laughs> oh god. <laughs> Me and my fat thumb. Whoop, whoop, whoop. Whoop, whoop. Whoop. That's what I want. Wasn't trying to do that, but okay. other way. Fuck the other way, huh? Yeah. Which way are you talking about? Any way but right. Spawn somehow, somewhere, just in case. Respawn. Uh, 
Let's let's do that. Come on. Get me, Birdo. Well, that sucked. <laughs> yes, it did. Nice. Which one is this? Oh, God. I hate this What's one. What's the crabby dude? Someone seems awfully crabby. Dude, you just got stoned to death. Ow! Dick! Crabby dick, is that some kind of British dessert? Scottish. Oh, you're right. I bet Steve has talked about that one before. That goober. Oh, fuck. <laughs> you trying to... <laughs> yeah, I got you, bitch. <laughs> Didn't game over either. <laughs> Not yet. <coughs> oh my gosh. Got one. I had something last night that you wouldn't think is good, but it actually was really good. Uh, uh okay. <laughs> you well, know those little, the little flatbread things called naan? Yeah. So I had some naan last night, and I put Nutella and cheesecake filling on them. Really good. There it wasn't here. The non breads are pretty good. Um, I when I worked at uh, the store, mm -hmm. we would have people buying them all the fucking time. It would just get so annoying because you would have to go out there and fill it up like at least. Four or five times a day. It's like oh they my. are really good, though. <laughs> right. And uh, but it was always funny because I lived in like a very, very liberal town. Mm -hmm. So they would like want to try to eat healthy, do everything organic and everything. It was just like, oh my god, dude, really? This non bread isn't gonna help you. Then all of a sudden, this gluten stuff started coming around. So everybody that was buying the non bread before stopped buying it because it wasn't healthy enough, even though it was supposed to be healthy to begin with. Yeah. It was, it's always one of those double standards. There it is. <laughs> exactly. Like. It's supposed to be healthier than regular bread, but it's it's pretty much the same. It's just there's no yeast in it. it still has the gluten in it, though. Right. That. I mean, almost any store will tell you that almost killed them. Once the gluten shit start coming out. Oh, this is gonna be healthy for you, but it has gluten. What the hell's gluten? Nobody's ever heard of gluten. Was it? You remember how? S oh my God! You remember what South Park did with the whole gluten thing? I don't think I've ever seen that. 
Holy, that was one of the last things I did see, was the whole gluten-free craze in South Park. What happened was, um, they kept having all these instances of men's wieners just deflating like balloons and flying off into the great blue yonder. Nice. Oh, and they suffer. figured out that it was because everybody was allergic to gluten. So they had to go through and get rid of everything in their houses that had gluten in it because everybody had been... Everybody was on such a gluten-rich diet that it was building up and everybody was just... It, it was basically making everybody lose their wieners. So... Like, at first, Randy resisted it. You know how he is. Yeah. He ends up getting trapped in a uh, pizza hut. <laughs> with, um... With Stan. Because they're quarantined. And <laughs> all that's left in, like... They're quarantined until they see the light or something, I don't know. But the only thing left in there to eat are, you know, the toppings and everything that... The, the toppings are all gone, all that's left is the crust and there's gluten in the crust. So they can't eat anything. The whole thing was just whacked out ridiculous. You know how South Park is. <laughs> it's South Park, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, stupid cherry. Because they have this they have this whole town meeting about banning gluten and everything and everybody runs home in a panic and starts gathering everything oh. from their can their cabinets that has gluten in it. <laughs> Which in in uh Randy's house turns out to be just about everything. Right. I mean, hell, even in real life, it's pretty much everything. Mm -hmm. It's really hard to live gluten-free. It really is. One of my, um... One of my friends from the call center days asked to because she developed a really bad case of IBS mm -hmm. and, she's, and gluten intolerance on top of all that. So she has to be really careful with what she eats. For fuck's sake. Start back at 6-1. I feel bad for them, though, that they didn't get to take the wedding cruise that they had planned. Because COVID? Mm-hmm. They were, um... They booked this cruise over a year and a half in advance. Because they wanted to make sure it was all paid for and everything. And to give all the people who wanted to come plenty of time to book their tickets. So what they were going to do is they were going to, um, they were going to go on this cruise together and they were going to do their whole wedding thing on the cruise. The wedding, the reception, and then the honeymoon and all of that all in one. And then they couldn't do that because of COVID. Mm-mm-mm. But I mean, they already got married. They, they like, did a city hall wedding, I think. That it was just gonna be, like, the actual, like, wedding ceremony for family and friends. So they did, like, um, court hall, whatever, town hall, wedding. Mm hmm As soon as they were legally able to in their state, they got married. Mostly for insurance purposes. Yeah. 
they're good people. I miss them. Oh, God. <laughs> Put this thing on Facebook a few weeks ago. But since I don't use Facebook that much anymore, like if anybody wanted to stay in touch with me, to message me on Messenger and I would give them either a link to my Discord or my phone number, whichever they wanted. And one person answered back and said they wanted to stay in touch. Ouch. Yeah, one person. Um, and then we ended up having a conversation on Messenger, and we haven't talked since. But the, um, she, she at one point was one of my neighbors. Uh. That I also worked with, because, like, the town I lived in, like, two-thirds of the town was employed by that call center at one time or another. So I knew almost everybody there. That's funny. Because at one point or another, I had worked with them. And even the ones I didn't know, knew me. That's pretty much how it was with, uh, my town. Growing up in, like, everybody, like, either knew you from going to school or from working at the store. Oh yeah, everybody knew me from the call center because... I had been there so long that I was like a fixture. <laughs> and because most of them, even if they hadn't seen my face or whatever, had heard my calls while they were in training. The trainers used to like pulling my calls up to use as teaching aids. They were like, you hear how calm she sounds while these people are yelling at her? This is what you want to be like. Bitch, please. <laughs> my god, I had to bite my tongue so hard not to say that to somebody once. This freaking Karen ranting in my ear about something, and I'm just like, in my head, I'm literally thinking, bitch, please, at least you have a cell phone with service. Like, it is not my fault that everybody in your house decided to go upgrade at the same time. I hate people like that. Oh my god, somebody got to upgrade, so I have to get it. Like, no. You, you, no, you really don't. Oh my god, I had this one lady who... She would sit there, and like, every freaking year, she would hound us for an early upgrade. Until this... Until... The company got rid of early upgrades. Why would she... Never mind. I, I, I don't want to know. Because she wanted to be able to upgrade her phone every year without any penalty. Like, well, you still have a year left in your contract, unfortunately. You won't be eligible for your next upgrade until this month. Like, you know what I mean. Right. Like this date. Whatever date that is in the future. And she's like, well, that's just not acceptable to me. I want to upgrade now. Because I have to have the latest every year. And I'm like, well, then you better get used to paying full price for your phones. Or buy used ones. Right. That's what I did. I needed a new phone. I went on Amazon and found it, um... <clears throat> found an iPhone for less than 200 bucks. Completely unlocked. It was only one model up from what I was using. So it's technically still an older phone. I, um... I ended up just upgrading recently because, like, I had, like, two months left. Which, I mean, it was a free phone to begin with. Whatever. God damn it. Please don't game over. 
but I had two months left, but it was free phone anyways. And the main reason is because I got no service whatsoever. Like, seriously, I get like one, maybe two ball bars, but half the damn time, the phone call will drop. There was no Wi-Fi calling on it, like it was a defective phone to begin with, like, so, was able to upgrade. I'm supposed to trade my old phone in, but I still haven't gotten the box for it yet. Yes. But the phone I end up getting, it's like only $10 a month. 2020. I ain't got a plane. Oh. What company? AT&T. Oh. It's uh, $10 per month. Not bad. It's Is a, it a lease or? No. Uh, wait, yeah. Contract. Where is it? Oh. No, like, was uh, it was it one of those upgrades where they give you a discount on the phone with a two-year contract or a lease agreement? Where at the end of the lease, you still have to give back the phone. Oh, no, it's a con. Like, I don't have to give it back at all. The old, the other phone, since I did the upgrade... Okay, so what they did was they gave you an installment plan. Right, pretty much. With the they... old phone, since it was like a free one, mm -hmm. I have to trade it in to get the discounts for this one. Whatever the discounts are. It, it's so damn stupid. But... That sounds a lot like Sprint's leasing program. Right. At least the way it was four years ago. Who knows what the hell they've done with it since then. The only reason why at t does it like this is because idiots constantly wanting upgrades and stuff. Oh yeah, Sprint, um... They had started this program but around maybe a year before I was let go by the call center. They had started this program to where you could lease a phone instead of buying one. Which meant that you paid a monthly rate on your bill to use this phone. And at the end of the leasing period, you either had to pay what was left of the price of the phone to keep it, or you had to give it back and lease something else. Um, and there were so many people that were just like... Well, I want out of my lease because it's been a year and I want to get a different phone now. So they had to change the leasing program to where there were different t um, different leasing increments available. You could get either a 12 or a 24 month lease, depending on what you wanted to do. Or how much you wanted to pay for the phone. If you picked a 12 month lease, your leasing payments were a little bit higher but you only had 12 of them, and then you definitely had to give back the phone to be able to get another one. And then, you know, if something happened to the phone, you had to carry insurance on it because if the phone was broken mm -hmm. or, or something was wrong with it that kept it from being in perfect condition, then it would not be eligible for give back and you were stuck with it. There were terms the phone had to be eligible to be given back as an exchange towards another lease. And there were so many people that didn't get that and they resented having to carry insurance on a phone when they otherwise wouldn't. <laughs> See, that's... Oh, God. <laughs> There's so many people that think that they can get away with that shit then sit there and oh, act stupid like they didn't know about it. What cracked me up were the people that used to sit there and call in all the time with they needed to do an insurance claim and they didn't even have insurance. Oh, like, God. my phone was just stolen, or or my favorite. Um, I left my phone on top of my truck and I ran it over again. Again? <laughs> As then he had done this before with another phone. 
left it on top of his truck, and then it, when he started his truck, it fell off and he ran it over. Oh my god, I, that just reminded me, um, I'd seen a quick video, like, somebody was pulling out a gas station, well, there was a dude on a motorcycle, he had, like, one of those, like, head cameras, you know, uh -huh. filming. Well, somebody was pulling out a gas station, and they had, like, their wallet and phone on top of their car. So the guy on the motorcycle tried to hurry up speed up to let him know, hey, you left your shit on top of your car. Uh-huh. Well, the person in the car sees the motorcycle riding up, flips him off, and then continues to speed right down. So the guy on the motorcycle just lollygagging, driving slowly by that point, ends up running into the guy a little bit further down, grabs his phone, and the, the dude in the passenger seat, he's like, oh shit, my phone, oh thanks. Dude just tosses up in the air, lets it smash on the floor, and then flips him back off and drives away. <laughs> like, oh my god. Talk about paybacks. That's, that's hilarious. Right. Oh my god, though. What killed me was this one call I got. This dude was like, I need you guys to replace my daughter's phone. She... She broke her phone again. And I'm just like, um, well, your daughter's line doesn't have insurance on it. There's, and it's not eligible for upgrade. In fact, none of your lines are eligible for an upgrade right now. So there's really not anything we can do. And he's like, but she's five and she needs to have her phone. And in my head, I am screaming, what fucking moron gives a five year old an iPhone? Well, that moron, apparently. <laughs> I'm... Obviously. I'm just like... Dude, are you fucking brain dead? Why, why does a five-year-old need a phone? Uh, that's what I asked. Uh, I mean, I couldn't stop myself. I was just like... Um, why does she need it? Well, she's in daycare and I want to make sure that she's... I want to make sure that she's okay. I want to be able to keep in touch with her. Um, you should be keeping in touch with the people in the daycare. I'm sure they have working phones. Oh my god, this overprotecting shit is getting worse. <laughs> yes, my kid is 13, she still doesn't have a phone. She's not getting one in the foreseeable future either. Until she's able to work and buy it herself. Right? <laughs> I don't know, maybe until she's more responsible than she is. It's bad yeah. enough right now. She she has an iPad because her school issued her one. Right. I mean, everything with schools now, yeah. The school issued both of the kids Chromebooks. And her my um, and my thirteen year old's middle school issued her an iPad too. So, they got a Chromebook and an iPad? Why? Uh, why? iPad has apps on it that they use in their classes. And the Chromebook is for other stuff. And on that note, I'm going to take a small little break and pound my head against the wall. Maybe pour a little some, something. Well, they had to have the, they seriously had to have the Chromebooks all last school year because they did the entire school year from Right. Home. But I, I'm I'm still like baffled by two different like okay I don't know it's getting ridiculous definitely with schools it is getting ridiculous all right I'll be back in a few and if you didn't know that you guys too, enjoyed this ads wow did somebody quit? Wow. Okay. <laughs> GG, GG, you uh...
Holy shit! Oh my god, you see? <laughs> oh god, that was so freaking close. Not cool. Not cool. God damn it. Saved right at the end. Hell yeah, it was. Oh, shit. <laughs> Did it. It was because I was getting too cocky with him. Dude, why didn't I pop the golden age? I did I did him damage this. Badged. Why is it spinning? Is it supposed to be representing that it's floating? <laughs> New kind of break dance? Oh, he's from the 80s. There you go. He thought it was cardboard. Oh, God. What the? You crazy son of a bitch. Dingleberry. Hitting me right, so I'll bounce back. <laughs> I wish we paid a sedative I could give them. Like, girl, you don't even understand, mm-hmm. 
I forget all that. What matters is that I should be back with home within the next few days. When I get back, I'll give you a call. We gotta get out, uh, go out and get smashed. Oh, hell yeah. I could use a break. Talk to you soon, Ryan. I really need a grenade right now. Holy crap, are you seeing this? I never read the Sunday paper. I just look at all the pretty, pretty pictures. What the hell is Sam doing? Just looking up. How do we get up there? Hmm. Let me look for a rock. I'm back. Okay. What am I looking for with that? Okay. I need to get D-pad, uh, not D-pad, but replacement pads for this controller mm -hmm. ready. It's like somewhat sticking on the D-pad. So I want to get a hold of Bud to see if where he gets his from. Well, that was a whiff. I think he said he got it his is from the eight bit though. No, he's when he was talking about having to replace the pads in his controller, he said he got hmm he got the the just the basic pack of the ones meant for Super Nintendo controller, and he just cut down the pad a little bit to make it fit. Oh, okay. <laughs> No, I was too close. Damn it. Mm -hmm. I'll just wait. Or jump grab the chain like an idiot. I got a coin for no reason. I know, right? <laughs> I don't see how I'm going to be able to do this deathless. <laughs> I mean, I'm pretty good with Princess Peach, so I'll definitely have to use her.
Um, run! fuck up and run away and then make her reappear. Well, I guess it just wouldn't be an upcoming Halloween without you egging somebody in the face. that up. Come here. Killed by the bubbles. Woohoo! That was close. <laughs> mm-hmm. One good thing about Mario 2. I do like is there's no time limit. <laughs> that is very true. Oh, come on. Uh-oh. Knew it. Oh, well. First he had Crisco feet, now he's got Butterfingers. <laughs> He's just all cover, man. Ugh. I mean, what the hell is he, a plumber or a baked good? Almost like the depth of, uh, grease up death guy. Oh. Ow. Woohoo! <laughs> Come on! Nope! I did it again! Last time! Uh, I don't want to start 7-1 over. Your vegetables, bitch.
Oh, that was bull. <laughs> that was close. I thought I was the last one. Damn it. Got me all excited for no reason. There we go. Oh, yay, you did it. Yay, yay. Mario Expert! Twenty-one? There was twenty-one levels? I thought it was only twenty. Something counted as another level. Alright. So his dreams was taken over by a, a Freddy... Kruger like character. If he died oh, in the sea, he dies mm -hmm. in real life. Have you played um, Mario Galaxy for the Wii? No. It's actually pretty fun. The only Mario game that I've played on the Wii, uh, I played Mario Party 8. I played Mario Party 9 and 10, but not as much. And Mario Kart 8. Dude, Mario Kart. <laughs> I freaking love Mario Kart 8. I really wish I had a Switch now. Or even a Wii U, just so I could play the Wii U version. Uh, about a month ago, I think it was, during Cap's party stream, birthday party stream, we played, like, a bunch of us played Mario Kart 8 on that. It was fun as hell. Even though I kept winning somehow. <laughs> <laughs> Like, there was, I was not even doing, like, the drifting and still getting first place. There was another person playing with us that, like, all he did was drifting, like, he knew how to race. But he would always get hit, like, right at the end and lose. <laughs> Usually by me. <laughs> wow. Ugh. How long have I been live? About three hours? Yeah, about three hours. Uh, I think I can call it for a day then. Alrighty. Because if not, I'm just gonna... I mean, I really... Probably just play more of this later anyways. <laughs> now, it's just countdown to badge. And it's always the long ones. Luigi, Toad, then got to complete it without dying, which that will be the hardest one. But other than that, you know. At least that, it just says you can't die. It doesn't say who you have to play as. Right, I'll probably definitely do, probably do it as Peach, definitely. She does make it easier. Yeah, since I can float. Yay! <laughs> I can fly! I'm floating high! Sure. I don't know what I want to do today. 
you gonna attempt to stream today, maybe? Maybe, if I can make myself wake up enough. Yeah, I, I got a little bit to do today, then... But, like... Definitely want to take a nap at some point. I do, too. <laughs> <laughs> uh, like, I've been playing, um... I told you I, I started playing that house in The Sims. Yeah. So last night, because we had no internet for so... Oh my god. It went out during Paul's stream in the afternoon. Mm -hmm. Didn't come back until around like... 11. Sometime in between 11 and midnight last night. So... While the internet was out, I tried to play The Sims some more. Because you can play it offline. Right. And, um... I decided to play a different house. And it's a house where it's a mother of three. Her oldest son is already an adult and he doesn't want to move out. Her teenage son is, like, full of angst and rebellion. And then she's got a cheerful little kid. And she herself looks like my ex-mother-in-law, and I don't like her. Oh, God. Yeah. So if I choose to play that family, I'm gonna be, like, using cheat codes out the ass and making- giving her a facelift and everything. A facelift <laughs> and maybe some liposuction and get rid of some of the junk in her trunk. <laughs> well, I didn't say anything. I said nothing at all. <laughs> Alright, well, today we're going to be raiding Lifted Senses. Oh, cool. Oh, no. Uh, he's, he's a very good streamer. Very good guy. Comes in from time to time. Uh, hangs out with uh, Pulse and Throg. He's playing um, Super Ghouls and Ghosts right now. Then hopefully uh, you you'll be able to stream later. I, I want to see see if you put junk in the trunk or not. Oh, you really want to see this family, don't you? Kind of do. Kind of do. The adult the adult son is like a freaking hipster douche. <laughs> oh my god, he is such a poser. All right. Oh, well, I'll see you guys tomorrow. Um, I probably. Does Resident Evil 1 sound alright? Yeah. I mean, I don't really... You don't need a lot of help with that one, do you? No. Not really, I mean... I might I might need to be yelled at to... It's not the remake, damn it! <laughs> That's about it. <laughs> I mean, it is fun being the voice in your head. I, I don't mind doing it. Huh. I do huh. it to Dark all the time. <laughs> I notice. <laughs> so that's why he's not streaming no more. <laughs> <gasps> what? Never. All right, guys, it's been fun. I'll I'll talk to y'all tomorrow. Lee Lee may Lee may be there. We don't know yet. I might have just pissed her off. <laughs> All right, see you guys.